and today we're gonna try something a little different. Today, tonight, 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 tonight. Yay! We are going to be making the most delicious, orgasmic, the most beautiful thing you've ever had in your whole life. We are making yeah, mac and cheese sauce. Well, actually, instead of pasta, I'm gonna use rice because girl ain't got. Boomier! Boomier! I'm trying to film something, Boomier! Boobier, are, are you going to cook too, Boomier? Boobier might help us cook. And this recipe is delicious if you just want to shove your face full of mac and cheese. It's really great because it's allergen conscious, so that's why. <laughs> it's really great because it's allergen conscious. It's really great because it's healthy, it's lower calorie, no animals are harmed, so it's cruelty free, and it's just everything wonderful in life. And trust me, it's. <laughs> I promise you're gonna love it, so let's give it a try. These are all the things you're gonna to need to make this delicious, scrum dilly on just beautiful dish. You're going to need a big pan, a stove, garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, arrowroot, salt, Dijon mustard, earthbound, sweet pepper. Love you, girl. Who's Amanda Bynes? My childhood. What? Oh. You are a child. Shh. Earth balance, soy free butter. You don't use soy free, I just use soy free. Organic almond milk. You can use soy milk if you don't have a soy allergy, but soy allergy. Whoa, my hand. Oh my gosh, we want. Nutritional yeast. I thought you were using creamer. No, I'm not using coffee creamer, Fiona. I'm what not a barbarian, Fiona. What are you making? You're making me a mac and cheese sauce. Why do you want to make Because I have rice and things. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good too. Yeah. Nutritional yeast! You can get nutritional yeast at Whole Foods, Wangman's, mm -hmm. wherever you go. No, I'm right there. don't sniff my butt. Boobie is being a little bit of a helper today. Here you go. What's this starting? But, but I actually said finally. <laughs> I said finally. <laughs> spoon. Took me spoon! Now that we have our spoon, the very first thing we're gonna do is go work on melt two tablespoons of our earth balance butter. So set your stove on medium heat. Medium heat. Sleeves. That's important. You'll want to get the food contaminated. Yeah, we're gonna do two tablespoons butter. Butter. Okay, let's A little too much butter. Need more like two and a half tablespoons of butter. Don't let that, don't let that melt. Don't let that one go. Don't let that one go. Back. That's melting. Wait. Next, we're gonna add milk. I hope this doesn't burn. Don't burn. Don't burn. Add as much milk as you have. Which is basically like how much sauce you want. If you want a lot of sauce, I do like three to four cups of milk. It all depends where you're at. Step on it. Mm. We recycle in this home. One second. Oh, one second. One second. Shake your milk. <laughs> okay. Two to four cups of milk. Perfect. Now you're gonna mix your beautiful thing of almond milk and earth balanced butter. Just for a little bit, heat up a little bit. And then you're gonna add, 
I'm not gonna measure it. You're gonna do the pepper and salt and garlic and onion powder. You definitely want more pepper and salt than garlic and onion powder, but I start off with this much, which is like about a teaspoon and a half of pepper. A teaspoon. A little more than a teaspoon and a half of salt. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna get rid of some because I don't think we need all this. That was a teaspoon and a half of salt. Since we did a teaspoon and a half of pepper and salt, we're gonna do a teaspoon of the onion powder. Make it look pretty. Just keep going. And you can always do this to taste. Like if you like more of a garlicky taste, then you can always add more. Okay. And then we'll mix it. See all the spices? Go and mix them. You're beautiful. You do your best that you can. Only you can do is the best that you can! Trying. Next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna add your Dijon. I like a lot of Dijon in my thing because it gives that, that like mm, that mustardy, really delicious flavor. This is a new Dijon. I gotta open this one. It burped at me. This is one of my family's favorite recipes. I hope it becomes your family, one of your family's favorite recipes. I like to do a tablespoon of this yummy stuff. It has to, it doesn't have to be Dijon, but it's recommended. Who measures anyway? I'm gonna add just a tiny bit more for love. There, perfect. We're gonna mix this up. Now you add the Dijon in there and you have the salt and you have the pepper and garlic powder and onion powder. We're gonna mix it up a little bit. buttery delicious flavor I think you're really gonna enjoy it this is great for when you're sick and you're not feeling so good it's so easy to make but warning do not taste it until you add your best friend nutritional yeast I put it in a coffee meat container because that's where I store my nutritional yeast but you're gonna see it most likely it's in like the um, bulk foods okay so nutritional yeast if you never had it before it's really good it's got like a Mmm, I, I don't know how to describe it, but it's super good. It's just golden flakes that just are delicious and they add, they really give it that cheesy flavor. I know some people who pour it over popcorn. And when you're adding nutritional yeast, you add as much as you want. I usually do two cups of nutritional yeast, see? And it gives it that you like cheesy, just mm, so fun. Editing this video is gonna be so fun. Editing this video is gonna be so fun. Gonna mix this up. If you need to add more nutritional yeast, if you need to add more garlic, salt or pepper, or onion powder, this is when you would do it. See how it turned that yellow color? So, so, so good. Oh my gosh. Mm. We'll mix it slowly so it doesn't go over the side. Oh my god, it smells so good. <laughs> ah, it smells so good. Keep mixing until all the lumps are out and nutritional yeast is fully mixed with the milk. <gasps> Baby, oh! It should look something like this. Delicious. It should look like that. And it should smell delicious. And now is the time where you taste it to see if you need to adjust any of the spices. Okay, spoon. <laughs> oh my damn. Oh my god, I could live off this stuff. I think it needs a little more nutritional yeast. As you continue to make this, you'll figure it out. I'm gonna, in the, in the butt, in the description box, I'm gonna put down the measurements exactly. A little more salt. I think it needs a little more pepper. And I want a little more nutritional yeast. These are just how I prefer it, but in the, a uh, recipe I'm gonna give you down below, it's gonna have everything how you would like to do it and how you would enjoy it most. I'm gonna add a little more Dijon too, cause girl, hey, got enough of that. 
never get enough of that. Can never get enough of this. Let's give her another taste, shall we? <laughs> I am unworthy. It's so good. Mm. Okay. So now what you want to do now that you got your flavors all together and how you want it precisely. This is when you add the thing called arrowroot. And arrowroot is kind of a natural binder. You got to be very careful with it. Very, very careful because it's very dangerous. It can make your it can make your food sludge in a second. But what you want to do is add a very, very small amount to a little bit of cold milk and then pop it in there to join the party. And what this does is it gives it more of that like um, gooey consistency because right now it's more of like a liquidy soupy consistency and it tastes freaking the bomb.com but we want it to stick to our noodles and oh my damn one second ah, I've got a coffee cup milk good just not much it's really not a lot you don't need a lot just like I filled it I filled it up to like there so what you're gonna do you're gonna get a fork, cause you kinda gotta beat it like egg. Fork. So you can do that. And what you're gonna do is while mixing it, you're gonna add a little bit of this stuff. Just a tiny bit. I have like less than half a teaspoon. That's how little you wanna add, cause this stuff is aggressive. It's aggressive. It's really neat if you can get one that has like a top like this, so you can just like sift it. And then you're gonna add these. Yum 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 yum. I'm working right now. And mixing, just like that. You can turn your heat down to low heat now. Perfect. Fiona's gonna give a little tasty tasty check. Here's our tasties. Okay. Yay! I need one more, one more. Mother and mother song taste test. Come here, mother and mother. Come here. Come here, try my magic. Give her a go. Give her a go. Give her a go try. What do you think? Oh, it's really good. Yay! Delicious. Okay, when you're done doing everything, when you're done the spices, when you're done the Dijon, it should look just like this. You see it? You see how beautiful it is? Should probably, the consistency should probably be a little more, you know, cheesy, but I'm not so great at the arrow rooting. Some people are amazing at arrow root, and you can also use flour if you're not gluten free, which works super duper well. Okay, time to add the rice. For the rice, I had previously made a heck of a ton of, mm, mm, of brown rice in the rice cooker. That's what you guys were sitting on just a second ago. So I'm just gonna flop that in there and see what happens. I'm gonna add some also some peas too, it's gonna be super good. So, this might have been a bad idea. I think I might need an adult. <laughs> We're gonna add the peas in and just hope it works out! <laughs> Fiona loves peas. Okay, thanks to Dwight and his nonsense, we're just gonna put the peas on the side and people can fool me if they like peas. So, peas. I love peas. They like little bubbles and you get to eat them. Oh, you're still filling. <laughs> I didn't know. Oopsie. Okay. So your rice, your mac and cheese should kind of look like these. You see? I'm actually really excited. it. Let's give it. We can try it now. And what we're going to do when we serve it is we're going to give people a piece that they can put in on the side. So it's really good. So it could be super healthy if they like it. So let's try a little spoonful first to make sure it's going well. Ah, this sauce is everything. You seriously need to try this sauce. Vegan or not, it's super freaking good. And it helps the animals, which is so important. So you know what? Give it a go. It can't hurt, right? It's really easy. You can surprise a significant other. You can surprise your mother or mother. You can surprise your Dwight. Dwight loves this dish. 
You'd surprise your city. We are Fiona. Super good. And it tastes the best ever if you put like a little bit of sriracha on it. <gasps> Bees are on! The little bubbles are gonna go in my tummy. Like little green monsters. <gasps> so so good! And we're done. I know this is done when the sides begin to caramelize. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Look at that. You can't really see it because I wasn't patient enough to super duper wait, but that's how you all know. So, okay, let's put it all together. Go! Like, rice and cheesy mac and cheese. Oh, so good. Bees. Little green monster bubble things. Sriracha. I'm going to draw a pretty heart. It's not coming out. Look like that and give her a try. Um, <laughs> so much. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so happy. The Muffy Poppies, that's how you make them really delicious vegan mac and cheese with rice because girl, I ain't got time to find that pasta. Comment below, comment in the butt. The butt I'm putting in the description box, the recipe for it, so you can try and make it yourself. Comment below if you like it. Have a wonderful, super awesome day. Please subscribe. New videos most Monday and Fridays, except for when my tummy hurts. Bye! <laughs>